Well, Dan, you said it, uh, valley fever is a soil-borne fungus that can be deadly if it gets in the lungs. In fact, nine people died last year in Monterey County from valley fever. Growing concern among doctors and county health leaders now leading to more awareness about valley fever, a lung infection caused when one inhales a spore from a fungus that grows in the soil during wet months. And as the weather warms up and dries up, they turn into spores, and then anything that disturbs the soil, whether it's construction or windstorms, can uh, blow the dust with the spore in the air. The fungal lung infection can be deadly. Last year, nine people died from valley fever in Monterey County. In the previous three years, only three people died, and the number of cases drastically rising in the county. 240 last year and 200 the year before. Not only were there uh, incredibly high numbers, but we also saw uh, a significant increase in the number of children that were uh, uh, diagnosed with valley fever. We had 10 children who were diagnosed, and we hardly ever see children diagnosed with valley fever. The prisons in Soledad also seen an increase in cases because of their rural location and minority population, which is more at risk. But those most at risk of getting valley fever, field workers, outdoor construction crews, and rural firefighters. There are uh, individuals who are researchers are looking into trying to explain why some years there's more cases than other years. A possible reason for the increase in cases is that valley fever may have been misdiagnosed. Symptoms of the lung infection are similar to the cold or flu. It produces the same acute symptoms with a cough, fever, chills, muscle aches, almost like the flu. It's also very important that healthcare providers think of valley fever, consider valley fever, and test for valley fever. The reason is because early diagnosis and treatment of valley fever can, can prevent severe complications. And if diagnosed early, valley fever can be treated with antifungal drugs, and it's strongly recommended as we approach the warmer, drier months that people wear masks if they're working in fields or areas where dirt is being kicked up. Dan, Aaron. Thank you, Felix. The CDC is reporting about 200 people every year are affected by valley fever.